Hey guys, good morning. I needed to have had it on my tripod to begin with. Hi, good morning. Welcome to my channel. My name is Juliette. If you have not been here before, I'll give you a little bit of background. So I have been doing embroidery for 21 years and I have been a certified technician with Melco for 16. I'm also a certified trainer with Melco for about 17 years. So um, today, what I wanted to do is say hi, welcome, and I want to address a, um, a very common issue that I run into with almost every machine that I sit down to do a tune-up or work on, and that is a burr in the hook area. Now, hopefully, you all know how to check your needles for a burr when you run your fingernail down on the tip of the needle. I was doing patches. Um, and you run your fingernail down that tip of that needle, and you have a burr on the tip of the needle. You know it's blunt. You know it's bad. You know it's going to give you problems, so you change it out. Hi, Drew. What's up? Volume's a little low. Okay. My tech guy is here to make sure my volume's good. Testing, testing. Hi, how's it going? All right, thank you. <laughs> um, so um, we all know how to check our needle we, to see if it has a burr on it. So your hook is also just as important to maintain uh, just like a needle because it's even more important. It's 50% of your sewing. And if you get a burr on your hook, no matter what needle you use or how many times you change it or what threads you use or tension, you're still going to get those thread breaks that are going to drive you nuts. So I want to show you how to, today, polish the burrs off of those hooks so that you can have a reduced thread break situation on your machine. And you can maintain it pretty easily and quickly when you're doing your weekly maintenance, when you're getting in and doing your hook area. Um, or the other thing you want to check is how. Hello, okay, let's talk about how they happen, right? So when you have a needle break, needle breaks happen depending on the item you're sewing on, a situation, thread getting caught up on the top, all kinds of issues can cause a needle break. So, so what happens when you have a needle break is a piece of that needle gets broken off down in the hook area at the bottom, and it will tumble around in there. Most of the time, it'll tumble out and either fall off or get kind of electrostatically attached somewhere. Hopefully, you'll find and remove any pieces of broken needle before you start sewing. But on a bad day, that needle fraction or piece or fragment that comes off will get in just the wrong position and that hook will come around and catch that piece of that needle and blunt the tip of your, your hook. It won't change your timing or do anything crazy, but it'll be just enough of a catch that it'll put a little burr on the tip of your hook. So anytime you have a needle break, you should always check um, and see if you have a burr. You could finish the item you're sewing on, of course, and get to a stopping point in order to do this. You don't have to do it in the middle of sewing. Um, but any needle break has the potential to create a burr on the tip of your hook. So I'm going to try my best to show you what the tip of the hook looks like and actually the parts. So let's start working on looking at these parts. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to switch this to the overhead camera. Let's switch overhead. Okay. All right, here we go. Let's see if this works. If you who know me, my trusty toolkit. So um, I have a couple of hooks that I put in here to make sure that I have them to work out of the box just so that I have one in my hand to kind of show you what we're talking about. And I'm going to try to do this with the camera. So if I turn, let's 
how close I can get. Maybe turn on a better light. Mm, come on, autofocus. Am I too close to focus? Too close to focus on this camera. All right, not that camera. Let's try the tripod camera. Maybe that one is better. It's a different camera. How's this? Much better. Yeah, so what you have is, let me turn this other light on. Uh, okay, so what you have is, you, this is your hook in your machine, right? It's familiar. You recognize it. It's going to be in your machine like this. This is where you're going to snap your bobbin in, right? So your bobbin is going to be snapped in here like this. It's going to look like this on your machine. There will be a bar that comes over to hold all of this in position. So when you're looking at this, you're looking for a part of the machine. And I'm going to go to my machine and actually show you there. I just wanted to show you one in my hand. So what you're looking for is when you rotate the hook, you'll get in there and we're going to rotate it so that this piece is at the bottom. Normally, this piece is up here. If you have your machine at a sitting position, it's going to be up here. This is the actual hook. This piece, you rotate this around so it kind of sticks out here. This piece is what does your the sewing. And it comes off. I'm trying to look at stuff backwards in the, in the video. So this is your hook. This piece here. And that little point is what we're going to look at to make sure that it is clean and polished and doesn't have a burr. This is going to reduce thread breaks, which is going to make your stitching better, and you're not going to pull your hair out as much. So this is kind of what we're looking at. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this camera over to the machine. We're going to look at my machine, and we're going to rotate it down, and we're going to polish my hook. I don't think there's a burr on there, but I'm going to check it anyways. All right. Let me put this down. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can get this camera to point here. Come over to my machine like this, I think. Lower this down. Nope, that's not the right one. Lower it down like that. Get a little closer. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm working on it. All right, not that clip. That's the clip, okay. That's better. All right, now we're down here at machine level. All right, we'll try to adjust it maybe maybe a little bit up. All right, here we go. That looks good. All right, so I'm going to get my Allen wrenches. So the first thing that you're going to want to do, make sure that your machine is powered on and ready to go. And we're going to... Uh, we're going to um, take our needle plate off. So it doesn't matter what version of machine you have. It's a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench. It's going to um, get that screw out of here. And we'll get the other one over here. All right, so let's get this off here. Okay. Screws are out. Needle plate is off. This is going to let us see what's going on inside here. Okay, so now we can see how the hook is in the machine and um, what you're going to look at. All right, so if I come up here from the top a little bit. Okay, that's why is that spinning? Okay, there we go. <laughs> okay, so from the top. Trying to see if it'll it'll. Your hook is right here. It's a little piece right here. And you're gonna feel the left side of that. I guess it's not really um All right, 
here we go. Let's go up just a smidge. Tilt down. Up a little bit more. Okay. There we go. I hope that's not too blurry. Is it blurry or is it just my eyes? All right. So here, this is the front edge of your hook. And you're going to just run your fingernail across that front edge to feel if there's a burr on it. Now, mine is clean. There's no burr on it. However, it's going to be very difficult to get to it to polish it here. We need it down here so we can get to it easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my machine and I'm going to press the emergency button. That turns the power off to the motors. Very important. All right. Now, if you've done this before, you're going to reach up inside of your machine, grab that big bar that's in there, and rotate your needle down. When you do this, you'll see that that part of the hook comes right here, hopefully. Yeah, you can kind of see it right here. That's the hook section. That's the surface you want to get to. Now, I let go of it, so it's kind of like going to a different place, but that's okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go get some sandpaper. So, you're going to want to get 1,000 grit sandpaper. One, one, one thousand. One thousand. What I is I've taken the sandpaper and I, I chop it up into little squares so that when I show up to a machine, I can have just this all you need. So it's a tiny little square to polish the spot. So I have them ready to go in a little container from an old hook. <laughs> all right, now. Da, da, da. Camera there. So with my little hook, rotate it over here so that I can get to it. I'm just going to put that sandpaper in, and I'm going to pull straight out like this. I'm going to pull straight out, and I'm going to go across the bottom edge. I'm going to go to the back edge, and I'm going to go across the top edge of that. Because it could be on any one of those three surfaces, you could have a burr. And then just check it. And repeat until it's nice and smooth. All right, I think I'm going to find something on the computer to kind of give you a better picture of this. All right, so let's go. Let's go to the computer and see if I can find a better um, drawing of a hook. All right, so here's my screen. And the quickest way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to bring up my browser. And the first thing I'm going to type in is the Real Estate Ben great website. If you're having any kind of problems or issues, go to the FAQ website. This FAQ site is designed for helping you troubleshoot some things. And I'm just going to come over here and type in hook, little keyword, home state inspection assessment procedures. This will give me a picture. Dun, dun, dun. That looks like a nice hook area. A lot of instructions. A lot of numbers. Okay, here's the diagram that I was looking for. So this is a drawing of the hook and then uh, the whole hook assembly. And then this red right here is outlining that piece that I was showing you. And that's what you want to get a hold of. And this is where your burrs are going to happen, right where that red arrow is pointing on that. So if you're looking at this is what's going to look like, and you see what the red is outlining and And in this, you get to see what the actual red is. Uh, let's see. Yeah. 
any really new pictures. Still talking about timing. But that's the drawing I wanted to show you. It's right here. It's like right behind the hook, right behind your needle. That's the piece that's going to get a burr on it. I'm going to scroll back up to that other wonderful drawing right here. So this is the hook. This is where the burr is going to be. So you want to polish that section. And that's why I rotate the bar down. Hey, Anna. Hi, Anna. How are you? Uh, I am uh, going to find out tomorrow. Find out tomorrow. All right. Where are we? So that, in a nutshell, is a hook. That is um, the, the part you want to check regularly. Remember, any time you get a needle break, finish your project. And then you want to go in and inspect and make sure you didn't end up with a burr on your hook. That's going to cause you a lot of thread breaks and frustration, really. My job is to reduce frustration and instill confidence. So I hope that this video helped you. I'm going to log off and take a small break and reset some of the things in my shop. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to do something else. And I'll start a new stream for that so I can title it different. And if you have any questions, make sure that you comment below. And I will try to uh, post the link that will send you straight to the document that I was referring to. Um, so if you need to look at things a little bit better, um, yeah. I'll just make sure to have some links to stuff and information, and we will call it a great afternoon. I hope this helps. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Have a wonderful day. How many times did I say that? Let's say it one more time. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>